I do apologize in advance for how white and pasty my legs are. Hopefully they don't blind you. As you may know, I'm a big fan of standing desks. I have one right here. Uh, I've had one for almost five years. And although standing is better for you than sitting, it's still not that great for you to stand all day either. Uh, it's actually best if you switch between standing and sitting along with some stretching and exercise breaks in between. I've noticed that when I stand all day, my hips and legs feel very tight. So this brings me to today's review of the Flexi Spot all-in-one desk bike called the Desk Size Pro. Now, I've been waiting for a long time for a company to release an, a high quality desk bike. And this one actually won an innovation award at CES this year, which was intriguing to me. So when they asked if I would like to review it, I said, yes, absolutely. So they sent me this to review, but this is not sponsored in any other way, nor did they pay me to do this video. These are all my honest thoughts and opinions. This is probably something I would have gotten anyways. So uh, as always, the link to this will be in the description below for your convenience. So let's get right into this review. The Flexi Spot desk bike may be my ultimate solution and it may be yours too. Also, my cat seems to love it, which is a blessing and a curse, I guess. It's currently $399 and it comes in two color options, black or white. The white one kind of reminds me of something that should be in a dentist's office. It's got like a medical equipment vibe to it. Uh, so if I was go going to buy one right now, I would probably lean towards getting the black. Now, what initially attracted me to this desk bike, other than the CES Innovation Award, was all the positive reviews I saw online. But the main things I'm looking for in a desk bike may be different than what others are looking for. I'm not looking to get fit or lose weight on a desk bike. Uh, in my opinion, there are much better ways to do that. My primary reason for wanting a desk bike is to incorporate more movement, even if it's just subtle, while I'm working so my body doesn't feel as stiff as it would if I were standing the majority of the time, and just to get my blood flowing. That's really it. So in my review, I'm going to cover the most important things that I'm looking for in a desk bike personally, which are simplicity, sturdiness, comfort and quietness. Now starting with simplicity, it comes in a single, albeit heavy box and is shipped directly to your door. Now FlexiSpot claims that it has a one minute assembly, which I do believe is possible if you're already familiar with the assembly guide and what all goes where and how to connect it. After unboxing all the parts, reading the manual and connecting everything, it took me only a few minutes. Now the assembly was very easy, which was great. I love when products go together easily, especially something big like a desk bike. The overall design works well. It has flip out legs with wheels on them for easy moving on hardwood floors, but not as easy on carpet. Now the pedals come with silicone covers, so if you have sensitive feet like me, you can pedal barefoot without wincing like a baby. It has a cup holder in the middle below the seat, which is located right between your legs, so I wouldn't trust having an open drink in it because I'd be afraid of easily knocking it over. I think I'll only put closed lid drinks in the cup holder when I use it. Now one of my favorite features is how quick and easy it is to adjust the location of the desktop and the height of the seat. You can use the left lever under the desktop to move it back and forth. The right lever adjusts it up and down and the lever under the seat adjusts the height of the seat. So it's super easy to adjust all those things. It also has a resistance knob that can be set from one, which is hardly any resistance at all to eight, which is the maximum resistance. It also has a simple digital display that keeps track of your current stats like distance traveled, speed and other things, which is kind of nice if you want to set a writing goal during your work sessions. I like to just set it at distance traveled so I can occasionally look down and see how far I've gone. Uh, and yes, it does come with batteries and yes, it is easy to replace those batteries when needed. So when it comes to sturdiness, the Flexi Spot is is pretty stable for it being a desk bike. There is some slight wiggle if you apply enough force or if you're pedaling really, really fast, but it does come with an Allen wrench so you can tighten up that screw to help minimize that. But typing is not an issue uh, because once you start typing, you, you're, the slight weight of the, your arms and your wrists on this wrist pad helps stabilize the desktop enough to where typing is I can type just fine while I'm pedaling and you know, my screen isn't shaking, my arms are shaking, like I can type just fine. It's really stable uh, just from having your slight, the slight weight of your arms and your wrists on those wrist pads. So you can type uh, and do your work just fine without it shaking, which is a big question when it comes to desk bikes. Uh, so I was really surprised and uh, it was a good surprise that I was able to type just fine while pedaling pretty fast. Also, the desk bike is heavy enough to where it doesn't move around or slide around on the wheels when you're pedaling uh, when you're on a hardwood floor, so it does stay put. As for the comfort, this is where it is totally subjective. I'm 6'3 and slim, and the seat and the desktop raise up high enough for me to ride and work fairly comfortably. And if you already own a standing desk, this fits nicely underneath it so you can use it in conjunction with your existing desk. And since this is an all-in-one desk bike, you can also use this as its own standing desk by standing in front of the desktop. And to my surprise, the desktop is high enough for someone as tall as me to use it as a standing desk. The desktop service area is large enough for a small laptop along with another small item or two like your phone or a drink, but if you have a 15 inch laptop or bigger, it won't leave you much extra room on the surface for other items. The wrist pad is comfortable. It's pretty firm with just enough give to it. However, I do wish the seat was a little bit softer. 
Now I've been told I have a rump, a rumpty, a donk, but I must have a bony butt when I sit down or something because when I, whenever I sit down on this for about 45 minutes, my butt just gets completely numb and I have to get up and walk around. Uh, so although I do wish I could sit on this comfortably for up to an hour, I'll probably end up getting like a gel seat cover for it. Um, and I, so I do wish the, the seat was a little bit bigger and a little bit softer. Also, when I'm pedaling, the inside of my ankles come extremely close to the pedal arms. So I have to position my feet a little bit to the outer side of the pedals to avoid my ankles hitting the pedal arms as I'm riding. So I do wish the pedals were just a bit wider too. Now, as for the noise, the flexi spot has been extremely quiet so far. Uh, I've been pedaling for most of this time uh, recording this video, and I don't know if you can hear it or not, but like there are no squeaks, no rattles. Uh, I've been using this for over a month. You know, this could change uh, after, you know, months or years of use. So there are no other noises besides just the noise of your legs moving. So to sum it up, I like this desk bike and I think it's definitely worth it if you want to be a little more active during your work sessions, if you have enough space in your office to use it, and if you're using a compact laptop for your work. This obviously won't support a big dual monitor setup, but it's a nice fit for people who don't need a ton of desktop space and want more movement during work. So that wraps up my review of the FlexiSpot Desk Size Pro all-in-one desk bike. I like this desk, I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will try my best to answer you. As always, the link is in the description. My name is Andy, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.